the Boeing Sonic Cruiser, the 787 alternative that got cut. When Boeing decided to wrap up production of the Boeing 757 and 767, they had a rather ambitious idea. A giant aircraft that would fly 20% faster than a normal jet airliner, but still have all the advantages of size and noise that planes of the day enjoyed. It was called the Boeing Sonic Cruiser. Back at the turn of the millennium, Boeing was scrambling. Their popular line of Boeing 747s and 767s were starting to slow down in sales and rival Airbus had just announced a truly ambitious and forward-thinking design, the A380. Boeing needed a win, a new aircraft that was clever, high-tech and would reassert Boeing as having no equal in the aerospace industry. Boeing looked at the airline industry and saw two clear trends. The first was the evolution of a true worldwide hub-and-spoke model airline, like Emirates, with huge A380-like aircraft shuttling passengers between different hubs before travelling onward on smaller aircraft – Canberra, Sydney, Dubai, London, Manchester, for example. The second model was point-to-point -point travel. Instead of travelling between hubs, why not fly directly to your intended destination on a smaller and faster plane, such as Boston to Manchester? Boeing saw the latter as the way of the future and developed an aircraft that could quickly beat any other aircraft apart from the Concorde, which at that time was not cost-effective. Thus, the Sonic Cruiser was born. According to Peter Romsey, Director of New Airplane Product Development in Ingenia, February 2002, as well as wanting more direct flights, passengers have demonstrated a preference for flights that take less time and airplane configurations that enhance comfort. It's just common sense. People want to go where they want to go, when they want to go, how they want to go. Boeing's answer to the demand for faster flights, more direct flights and increased comfort is the Sonic Cruiser. So what were the specifications? The Boeing Sonic Cruiser was approximately 250 feet long or 70 meters with a sweeping delta wing body. It could fly around Mach 0.98 approximately 0.10 faster than normal aircraft, but half as slow as a Concorde without the noise problem. This speed was significant over longer routes, shaving off two hours between Singapore and London. As we know from Qantas's success with their Perth to London route, which saves around three to four hours over flying through hubs, this aircraft definitely had a market. To avoid existing air traffic, the plane would fly at 40,000 feet or 12,000 meters above sea level. It would have a range from 6,000 nautical miles to 10,000 nautical miles. Whilst details are hard to come by for how many passengers it would have carried, we estimate around 250 based on the size. Technology and materials behind the Sonic Cruiser were cutting edge. Boeing had to bring in extra suppliers to create a composite body that would withstand the extra forces and still be incredibly fuel efficient. Walter Gillette, General Manager of the Sonic Cruiser program, Boeing Frontiers, July 2002, said, The Sonic Cruiser is a brand new class of flying machine. Every other commercial jet plane has been a further refinement of the 707. Richard Branson would publicly suggest that he would buy three to six of these aircraft if they were built. So why was it never built? By 2002, the aircraft design was ready to be finalised, a prototype built and orders secured. However, the aircraft market had changed over those two years, with the terror attacks of 9-11 plunging the sector into a depression and fuel prices rising due to wars in the Middle East. Airlines simply did not want an aircraft that was more expensive to operate and yet did not really offer any real point of difference, only a saving of two hours for a bigger ticket price, for example. In some cases, the increased speed was actually a disadvantage. Many airports had an operating curfew and overnight flights would have arrived well before their destination opened. Some airlines openly criticised the aircraft, saying that there were not enough airport slots for a faster aircraft to use. Boeing in the end decided to scrap the project and use its new research on fuel efficiency to develop a slow but cheap-to-run alternative, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner.